Have you ever gone to install a mod and been confronted with a horrifying list of dependencies? If so, you'll know the utter pain of having to go and install each of these mods yourself. This happened to me yesterday. I felt like playing Morrowind, so I set Open Morrowind up and got everything working. Then I went to install a nice looking mod called Necrocraft that seemed interesting to me. But then I saw the dependency list and had to pick my drawer up off the floor. Necrocraft doesn't have just a couple of dependencies, nor does it have a few. Necrocraft depends on six mods, each of which have dependencies of their own which also must be installed. I actually mapped it out and discovered that in order to install and play this one mod, ten different mods need to be installed and configured first. Needless to say, this is a nightmare for a user to deal with, even a mod savvy one. Believe it or not, I'm not picking on Necrocraft here. Necrocraft is absolutely doing the right thing. If you use what already exists, you save yourself time and also end up with a better result for your mod. The dependency choices are very sensible. For example, the mod has a crafting component to it, so it depends on the crafting framework. That makes perfect sense. Why go to the trouble of rolling your own crafting system when someone else has already done a very good job of it? Dependencies are not the problem. Distribution is the problem. But there's an easy and convenient solution to this in the Linux and programming world called package managers. For example, on Ubuntu, if I want to install a package, I ask the package manager to install it for me. It will then figure out all the required dependencies for that package and ask me if I want to install them. I then say yes, and it goes ahead and installs them all for me. In an ideal world, this is exactly what should exist for modding our games. It should be possible for me to ask a tool to install Necrocraft, and then for that tool to go ahead and find and install all the requirements for me. Having to do it yourself is tiresome and error prone. The good news is that someone has actually made a package manager for modding games with. It's called PortMod, and it works very well. PortMod can be set up to work with Vanilla Morrowind, Open Morrowind, GZ Doom, and a few other games. It took me about 15 minutes to configure, but once set up, I was able to pick a random mod from the repository. In this case, I chose a mod for Darker Nights called True Nights in Darkness, and I asked PortMod to install it. PortMod went ahead and collected the dependencies for me, installed them first, and then installed the True Nights in Darkness mod. Simple, easy, beautiful. I have long dreamed of a package manager like this, and it's finally here. Unfortunately, most people will be scared away by it because it is a command line program, but I'm sure that if this gains traction, someone will at some point make a nice installer for it with a nice graphical interface for you to easily find mods and install them by pointing and clicking. If this ever comes to pass, the modding of the future will be easy as pie. It won't matter if a mod has 1000 dependencies, for you it will just be a click of a button. Now with my next comment, I'm talking from a place of ignorance because I don't have my finger on the pulse of what Nexus Mods is actually doing. I know they have Vortex and some things like that that are kind of like package managers, but I don't believe they're as sophisticated. I really don't understand why, after all these years, Nexus Mods hasn't put out a package manager of their own. You know, a proper one like this, but with a nice GUI that people can easily point and click and feel comfortable with. Because really that's what's needed and I feel like they have the resources to do it. They've got the huge website with all the mods on it, like probably all the mods in the world, more or less, are on those websites. There are a few issues though if they wanted to do that, for example they'd have to make every package very uniform, they'd need a manifest saying like in a consistent way all of the dependencies a mod has. I don't believe they have that. The Thunderstore mod manager for Valheim actually does. When you create a mod you need to have a little manifest file which is just a JSON and in it you specify the version, the name, a few other things but also the dependency list. And you know 
I'm not actually sure because I manually install Valheim mods, but I think that this Thunderstorm mod manager actually does do some kind of dependency um, installation. So it's closer to what we need than what Vortex is. But yeah, I really wish that Nexus mods would produce something like this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, I hope this has been interesting for you. I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon.